to start by just inching our way towards the edge of our chair and place our feet into the earth. And then just relax your hands down into your lap. So placing the palms facing up, shoulders melts down the spine and the heart lifts. And then I'll welcome you to close your eyes. Starting to notice where in your body you feel the breath moving. Starting to notice any mental chatter or any physical sensations in the body. See if you can bring peace and ease to the face and mind for a moment. And then we'll place both hands over our heart just to set an intention for this practice together today. We'll set an intention on improving our quality of life through improving our lymphatic health and wellness. We'll use this practice today to encourage lymphatic flow, to relieve any tightness, tension, or pain in the body and to build the mind with power, control, and happiness. And then release the hands down by the sides for a moment. And I've been doing this a lot lately, so I'm gonna share it with, with all of you. So wiggle the fingers down by your sides for a moment. So just get some like activity in the fingers, get some movement in the fingers. And then you're gonna lift the hands up. So creating this like kind of ball of wiggly, jittery energy around you that's kind of protecting you. So just kind of wiggle the fingers. Really good too if you have upper body lymphedema, helping gravity and muscle pump, but just getting a little bit of movement here just to begin. And if you can't quite reach the arms all the way up, you can just come forward and then out. One more time, lifting the fingers up and down, and then release the hands into the lap. And then we'll begin our manual lymph drainage. So cross the hands over the chest for our first position, either both hands at a time or one hand at a time. And then stretch the skin in towards your neck. So just breathing nice and slow, nice. So if you can go underneath the shirt so that you have skin to skin contact because that skin stretching is what really helps to open up the valves, to move the fluid through the vessels. Nice, just breathe here. Just trust yourself to softly massage your body. And then coming to the neck, heels of the hands come near the neck and you're just gonna stretch the skin back and down. So I like to just kind of drag my fingers down you can do it this way, or you can cross the hands and massage the sides of the neck with the fingertips. So either option here, but just doing this about five to 10 or so times at each area. And then coming back to the chest. So we just moved all that fluid from the throat and the face down. So we're gonna come back to those half circles at the chest. Breathing in and out, nice job. And then coming to the shoulders, stretching the skin of the shoulders up, back and down as you pump the elbows. And then coming back to the chest as you stretch the skin back one more time at the chest. And then we're gonna do a little bit more here since um, we've expressed some lower body lymphedema. So let's just relax our arms and then kind of shift your weight back so you're kind of like hanging out in your chair so you have room to access the hips. Then place the hands at the hips, pinkies by the hip bone, and we're just gonna pump in towards the belly button. So just getting some nice movement here. Just breathing. So I'm on our calendar, but I don't have a link. And then we'll come to behind one knee and then we'll stretch the skin of this one knee and just massage behind one knee and then come to the other side. So just waking up the large areas of lymph nodes in the body. 
So they like to cluster or come in lines around bony prominences, so getting this area. And then release the hands down, bring the feet back in. We're gonna inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, draw hands down into heart center. Nice, breathe in to lift the palms up towards the sky, stretch up, and then hands come down. A few more like this, breathing in to lift. Exhale, slowly lowering. Breathe in, rise. And exhale, then pause at the center and then push the palms together as you bring the hands up towards the sky. And then exhale, push the walls away from you as the arms come all the way down. Nice, so feel, inhale as you lift everything, expands and opens. And exhale, you're drawing the arms down, pumping through the heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands to the thighs. And we're gonna stretch the left arm forward as the right arm comes back, twisting over the right shoulder. Inhale, center, and then exhale, twisting. So getting this trunk rotation helps to massage the central lymphatics, helps to bring that fluid from the lower half up through the center of the body, improves our digestion, as Jean will can tell you, to improve some movement here. Take it one more time to each side. Just getting some nice movement in the center. Nice job, everyone. And then back to center, hands to the thighs for seated cat and cow. So widen your feet a little bit. And then inhale, you're gonna peel your chin and your chest forward to lift through the heart. And then exhale, start with the chin. You're gonna round through the chin, round through mid spine and then low spine. So I'll do it from the side so you can see. So inhale, you're really pulling yourself forward as the Bottom's coming out, you're tilting your pelvis forward. And then as you exhale, you'll see everything's rounding and coming and tucking under. Three more times at your own pace. Nice job, exhale slowly. Breathing in. Breathe out. One more, breathe in. And out. Coming back to center, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna find some movement in the center. So rock yourself over your right thigh, center, left thigh, back and around. So it's so helpful to breathe as you're doing this. So as you're coming forward, you're compressing those pelvic, the inguinal lymph nodes, and then you're releasing. Sometimes I like to stick my hands kind of right in that hip crease to feel some movement, kind of give a little massage there. And then reverse the circle. Keep up with your breath, inhale. Exhale, rounding around, breath in. And out, big breath in. And out, and then coming back to center, elbows by your sides, thumbs facing up. We're gonna inhale to reach the arms forward. Stretch the arms so you feel the back of the heart, the scapula is expanding. And then exhale, make tight fists as you draw and peel the shoulder blades together. Nice, breathe in to stretch everything forward. Maybe the chin comes down. And then exhale, you pull everything back into center. Beautiful, inhale, stretch. So this is helping right here if you have any swelling underneath the breast or the chest. Squeezing the shoulder blades helps to squeeze the lymph nodes up the spine, gets everything pumping. Two more times. Also getting some movement and contraction in the arms. And then releasing down, take that right hand across the body. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Keep the arm nice and tall here, so stretch the arm up and then relax the shoulder. And then nice and slow side bend towards right. Just breathing here. Maybe see if you can open up through the center of your body. Find a little bit more trunk rotation as you look underneath that left armpit. 
breathe in here to open the heart. Nice job. And then exhale, swim those fingers. Just wiggle the fingers all the way down. Good. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. Left arm, right thigh. Right arm sweeps up towards the sky. And then exhale, slowly side bend. And then see if you can find a moment to open, to swivel the heart towards the sky. Look underneath that right elbow. Breathe in, opening up. Exhale, slowly lowering all the way down. Reach, swim the arms up. Lift the heels so you come up out to the toes this time. And then exhale, melt hands down to the thighs as the heels come down. And we're gonna draw our right knee into our chest. And we're gonna find a nice slow circle here with the knee. So imagining a little marker on the top of the knee, drawing a little circle up on the sky. Sitting up nice and tall as you do this. You can also use a dish towel or something to hold onto underneath the thigh to kind of help you move the thigh. And then reverse the circle. Using the clasp on the leg to kind of pull you into an open heart. Good. And then hands underneath the thigh. We're going to inhale to straighten the leg. So really good to pump this leg. And then exhale slowly. Just let the toes point down. Inhale as you lift the leg. Point the toes back towards your face. Getting some nice contraction in that calf. Exhale as it glides down. Three more. Inhale. Stretch. Exhale, keep a nice strong spine, breathe in and out. One more, breathe in and out. And then take that leg up into the chest to bring it up and across the body if you can. Hand to the foot and the thigh, or you can bring the outside of that foot down onto the earth and just peel your hip open. So just breathing here, if this is accessible for you, lift tall and then slowly exhale, just breathing out all the air. Maybe giving that right foot a little massage, maybe giving the ankle a little bit of a pump if you're here. And then releasing the leg down, hands to the outsides of the chair and just windshield wiper the leg side to side for a moment. And then we'll draw left knee into the chest, same thing, some of those big circles here just to open up through the hip, getting some movement. I always start with the right leg and then move to the left so that I can go in the track, in the digestional track. So I start compressing the ascending and then the descending. So always think right and then left. Even though I'm mirroring you right now. So, <laughs> And then hands come underneath the thigh for those little kick outs. So inhale, point the toe and then flex the toe back towards the face. Sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, slowly kicking it out. And it's okay if you can't quite get this, just work on the toe point. So point the toe and then bring it back. But if you're here, do this two more times. Any movement is better than no movement. So nice job. And then release that. Then bring that heel up and across the right thigh, hand to the knee and the ankle. Or you can just press that back edge of the foot onto the earth and then just peel open the hip like that. So just encouraging some stretching in the leg, softening in the mind and heart. And then slowly coming out of it. Nice. We'll inhale, reach our arms up. Exhale, soften the hands down. And as you do this, drop the chin towards the chest and then nice and slow neck circles, moving the neck around, just breathing. Going to whatever degree feels good, feels productive. 
just ending here with some neck and heart opening just to encourage continual limb flow throughout our day, throughout our night, and until we practice again. And then reverse the circle. And then coming back to center, we'll draw our shoulders up towards our ears, back and around. And I encourage you to find some swimming movement with this. So bringing the shoulders up, back and down. Just finding this nice open movement and then reaching the arms forward. One last heart opener. We'll open up our arms to spread like wings, lift our chest and our chin, and then exhale. We'll round and give ourselves a large hug. Inhale to open back up, stretching up, shining the heart nice, and then opposite arm comes on top. One more like this big broadening, opening, freeing energy. Exhale, grounding, stable and secure. Stay here with this little gentle hug. Connect with yourself. And then slide the hands down as you come into your final relaxation pose. So finding a nice comfortable seat or laying down. Let your back be supported, your hands and feet feel rested. And then I'll welcome you to close your eyes for our final moments together. Settling the heart and allowing all the benefits of this lymphatic flow yoga practice to be absorbed and seep through the body. So with your eyes closed, take a slow breath in. And as you blow the air out, imagine this cleansing, warm shower coming through your entire being. From the top of your head, there's an energy, lymphatic, blood cleansing flow that moves through you. Feeling the balance of your energy throughout the entire body. And now that the energy is cleared through this warm water, we're going to start from our toes and imagine this beautiful river of flowing water, clear, bright, balanced energy and water coming from the tips of our toes, up our legs, into our pelvis, up the center of our body to our heart. And then paying attention to the fingertips, allowing for this beautiful cleansing river to flow from the fingertips to the elbows, to the shoulders, to the neck, to the heart. And then imagine our back body flowing with this beautiful energy coming up the heels, the calves, backs of the legs and then coming forward towards the hip front frontal hip bones up the heart imagining all this crystal clear fluid from the brain the mind lift the eyebrows to feel a little lightness and then imagine all that fluid draining beautifully down back into Fill yourself with a clear, soothing energy, balanced flow. Take another breath in and release. Take a slow breath in, release it out. Breathe in something you need. Release something that doesn't no longer serve you. And then find your hands to your heart. Connect with our intention of improving our lymphatic health. Each day at a time through our breathing, our massage, our movement, 
with our connection with our mind to body, we're able to improve this flow and help to encourage it. So thank yourself for being here. Send so much love to your own body. We can place our hands together in heart center, palms connect. We can bow to another to share our gratitude for one another and for the intention and hope of continued healing for all of you.